Layla and E, what are you going to remember most about your first win at Wimbledon? Um, that I won in Wimbledon. <laughs> no, I think uh, that I was able to win it with my dad in the stands and my sister and cousins there too. So it's always special to win it, win my first match um, in any tournament with family members there, especially the ones who've been there through tough times. So it's, uh, so it's good. I think we're going to celebrate a little bit today, especially especially since everybody's here. Before everyone leaves, I want to celebrate with them and just uh, have a good evening. What's a good evening? What's the celebration look like for you guys? Uh, um, junk food and movie night. <laughs> so that's, that's a good celebration. This is only the second time you've played the main trot Wimbledon. What makes this a special tournament for you? Um, I think it's just the, the history behind Wimbledon. You know, I think when you think of Wimbledon, you also think of legends who have played here, who have stepped foot in these grounds and who have, uh, who have won this tournament. And I'm just hoping that I can be a small like part of this history, of that history. And, and I think it's, uh, it gives me motivation too to, to do well, to play a good game and um, have the fans enjoy the tennis match. How did you get through this match? It was a seesaw affair. <laughs> what did you do to pull it out? Um, no, I think I, I tried to look at my, my dad, who's also my coach there, and kind of take what he's telling me and try to execute it as much as possible, which it has helped me. And I'm glad that, uh, you know, coaching is allowed, quote unquote. You know, I think uh, there are moments where I feel lost or players feel lost and we look at our box and we, we want to... Um, wow, sorry, I think someone won. Uh, <laughs> we want... We want to have the help uh, so we can get through this these moments, and I'm happy that my dad was there and he was able to, like, to kind of snap me out of like whatever uh, I was thinking and just focus on the now and not on the past. Two five in the second set, yeah. down a double break. He called you over before the changeover. What was his message? Uh, his message was actually breathe, be positive, and just calm down. Uh, and I think. Um, when I lost my, my service game, I was just getting upset. And like, like I said, like those moments, that's when you kind of look for your team to tell you like, okay, calm down, it's not the end of the ro world. And I'm glad that my dad saw that and took the opportunity and said like, okay, calm down, you're doing great, just keep fighting. And like with that, I felt his belief in me and I felt that he knew that I was able to, to come back in the, in the second set, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Katarina did a good job closing it out at 5-4, but you know I think that also has given me confidence in the in the next set. Caroline Garcia next. What stands out about her? Um, she's aggressive. Uh, so what I need to do is uh, is going to be very important, and I just got to be aggressive, uh, be offensive, take all the opportunities that, that she gives me, because she's not gonna give me much, but the few that she's gonna give me, I gotta be offensive, I gotta be able to dictate the point, and that's uh, that's that's gonna be very important for me. Enjoy the celebration tonight, enjoy the junk food. <laughs> I will. <laughs>